Dax is probably one of the quietest guys you'll meet. Has a big personality, but doesn't doesn't really show a lot through words. It's just through his example. Retains the playbook. He's tough. He's a guy that I could keep on the field every single play, and I know he'll he'll give it everything he has. It speaks a lot to his character. Fires goes deep for Milne. It is. Oh, what a grab! Spectacular catch! To sit in the stands and to see him have such just wonderful moments, like scoring touchdowns in ball games and against uh, USC, we're just, you know, brought us all the tears, you know, when you see those things happen. Touchdown Cougars! I remember the game, he showed up on the Jumbotron when he started on his, in his first game, and that was like a huge, big, big brother moment for me, just to see the, all that harder payoff from all of our time throwing together and, and uh, I guess like the, you know, the video games help out a little bit too, but. <laughs> Remember when we played that uh, small like Nerf ball and we could just chuck it like? Oh yeah. Probably missed, wasn't that far though because back I in the day. Thing. And you think back to when he was just five and six years old, wanting to play football. You know, and it was his dream. So to to see him live out his dream right now is it's 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 very fun and and, and exciting for the whole family. Darren and Jill, his mom and dad are are incredible people and they've raised him right and, and uh, he's gone through a lot of adversity, you know, specifically with his mother and her encounter with, uh, with cancer. Yeah, I just feel like yesterday. I remember on the couch over there you sat me and Dax down. I saw that serious sort of worried look on your face. I remember my heart kind of sank a little bit. She said, ah, I went to the doctor and I just thought like, oh, I was Probably nothing, but then she said, I've been diagnosed with stage four cancer, and... <clears throat> I ended up going in and having a colonoscopy, and they were able to determine that I did, in fact, have a tumor in my colon. After the diagnosis, I, I, they went to do more, ex, more testing to see if it had spread, and unfortunately, it had gone into my uh, liver. It was hard, I think, for all of us. It was, it, it rocked, I think, everybody's world, I think, you know, and it's, it's a scary thing to know that, you know, when, you, when you're diagnosed with stage four cancer, you don't know what the outcome's going to be. And of course, you know, death is definitely a possibility at that point. So I think that was probably a very hard thing for them to process. I couldn't really dwell on it that heavy because I had I had my freshman year of football going at BYU, and it was already a huge adjustment coming from high school. And there was a lot on my plate. I tried to put it in the back of my mind, but I know that's kind of bad to say, like, don't, like, not think your mom, but I tried to, like, compartmentalize, like, have football, and then after football, just make sure she was okay. Once we got the diagnosis, and it was like, okay, what do we need to do? We can either do this, 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 and this, and you, you just did it without any reservation. But your your positive attitude has helped us. Your faith, your looking outward to to serve other people while you're going through this was such an example for us. Overall, she she handled it like it's like a champ. Probably get too emotional if I keep talking about her, but she's amazing the way she handled it, and, and I'm uh, so grateful that she's still here today. So. The fact that she's been able to beat it um, was no surprise to me. I think that's where uh, Dax probably attributes a lot of his toughness to. And anyone who, who, who's been through a battle of cancer or knows someone close who has, those are hard things to fight. And so um, I don't think there's any coincidence there in, in why Dax is so tough. You can't help but learn something and grow. And I think that's the whole point of us going through these types of things is to learn and grow. And that's why our Heavenly Father allows us to experience these things, that we're stronger than we think we are, that we can do hard things, that we can make it, we can do it. We are fighters. During that time when she went through that experience, and that was when I really found my why in, in life and in football. My why is, is my mom. Hoping and praying that things will continue to go well and be good. We got a strong mama. Strong mama. <laughs>